It's not designed for a hardcore shamanic ritualistic thing that, you know, you're sitting in a tent in the middle of nowhere and for five days you're fasting uh, and then you're taking medicine and you're having visions. That's fantastic. That's beautiful. But that doesn't work for a lot of us because we're not prepared for that kind of, kind of work. What I designed to do was to create a situation to position us, to create a situation, to create a platform that I can put you in that you still have the same experience of connecting to the cosmic consciousness and starting to receive information, having visions and having connection to the invisible world, to this other infinite realm of the being and being able to live a modern life in the modern world while you're going to work in your office, while you're a grandmother, while you're a dad, while you're having an, you're driving a truck and we're living in a modern world and we're dressed like modern people. We have the modern haircut and everything, but we know how to bring the essence of shamanism into the modern world and keep connected to the invisible realm get the visions and information that we want, where we need from the other side, while maintaining the appearance of a modern man or what modern woman, yet you have tapped into your ancient being. You're maintaining the appearance of a modern person in a modern world, yet you have tapped into your ancient being and you're bringing information and you've become a vessel of light in whatever you do. And you don't even have to appear. You go to a coffee shop or an office, you're working in an office, you don't do any of this stuff, healing or putting your hand on anyone. No, you're doing your own work. You're keeping quiet. You're doing your own work, but you have become a vessel of light. By your sheer presence, you are affecting everyone around you in the office. Everybody is getting transformed because you're transferring healing energy and light to everybody around you without even doing anything very quietly is happening. That is when you, you have recognized yourself and you have learned how to connect to the co cosmic consciousness. And to me, in this modern world, that is even more valuable than having the appearance. Oh, I'm a medium, I'm a channeler, I'm, look at me, I'm wearing feathers, and I'm da 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 da, and I'm doing da 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 da. Yeah, you can do that, that's fine. But can you not do that and still be able to be a vessel of light? And that's what my, pur my purpose is of of showing you how you can do that and how you can get connected. And for that, sometimes you really need the, once for that, you need the environment to create the environment. And that's what I decided to do uh, the retreat in Sh Sedona, because this is where all the ancients been and they've done the shamanic work. So this is where the spirits of shamanic, sh uh, shamanic healers, this is where they're at. This is their base, their, their hangout. So now we're going to be doing the work and opening and connecting to them 
in their power place, then once the connection happens and we're connected, then you take it with you wherever you go. I'll send you a lot of love and light and many blessings to you. Namaste. Thank you.